Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Shanika and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do an herbal hair rinse. Now this blend in particular is for dry hair and dry scalp, but be sure to check out my website for the other blends that I have available. And we're just starting off with about two cups of water and then we're gonna go in with our two tablespoons of herbs, which contain hibiscus, lavender, licorice, rose, flaxseed. And these herbs are gonna be very nourishing for your, both your hair and your scalp. As I mentioned earlier in the video that this is the dry hair and scalp rinse. Now this is going to help balance the oil production for your hair. It's gonna soothe irritation on the scalp. It's gonna keep the scalp moist and hydrated. And it's going to encourage hair growth by improving blood flow to the scalp. And you just wanna allow this to steep for about 30 minutes, but you also want to allow it time to cool. So while we wait for all of that, we're gonna go ahead and cut up our aloe vera. Listen, we already know just how amazing aloe vera is. It's literally the holy grail to healing, okay? So for skin conditions, for hair conditions, um, just for the health and wellness overall, aloe vera is the go-to. And what I love is that it is not expensive in most places. You should be able to find them in your local grocery store. Keep in mind that you don't have to add the aloe vera, but I love to use aloe vera because of its healing properties. So I just want those extra benefits, but you can just do the herbal rinse by itself. Sometimes I will if I don't have the time to add the aloe vera. Um, but whenever I can add an aloe vera, I run to the store, pick it up, or I usually have a few here and I just go ahead and blend it with the herbal rinse. Now, before I blend the aloe vera, I like to go ahead and give it a good soak just to remove the latex, which is the yellow liquid you see. Just lukewarm water just a quick rinse and rub around just to get it off you don't have to do this but i prefer it because it can cause irritation especially if you have sensitive skin or your scalp can be easily irritated and then i just go in with my spoon to remove the gel from the skin of the aloe vera i find that using a spoon is easier than a knife um, so once you remove that then you're going to prepare to blend and strain and of course I recommend straining the aloe vera because of the pulp that can get stuck in your hair. And let me just say my hair is way too thick for me to deal with that. I made that mistake once and never again. So please, I suggest that you make sure you strain it after you blend it just to remove the little small pieces of pulp that can get stuck in your hair. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me on this platform. I'm really hoping that you guys will continue to join me on this journey and subscribe to my channel because I will be sharing so many amazing, helpful videos for you. A huge thank you in advance. So now that my herbs have cooled and everything has steeped well together, I'm gonna go ahead and strain it. This step right here is very optional. I like to just go in and press all of that goodness out of those herbs, but you do not need to do this. This is just being that type of person that wants to get every little bit. Then I'll go in and mix it with the aloe vera, just pour it in there and blend it well together. And then I'm gonna go in and add a tablespoon of Manuka honey. Y'all know how much I love Manuka honey. If you've been on my channel, I literally use Manuka honey for everything. So healing for us guys, seriously. I know it costs a lot of money, but it has so many healing properties um, for us and is antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory literally amazing all right so we're just going to go ahead and strain the uh, mixture just to get that pulp out of there again it's optional but i highly recommend that you do this to avoid the pulp getting stuck in your hair the reason why i promote herbal wellness um or i've come to love promoting it is because i truly believe that herbs bring forth healing um when you really understand how they work together with our bodies, then you too will be amazed at just how powerful they actually are. So when it comes to metanoia melanin, uh, my business, for those of you who are new here, I infuse just about every product with herbs for a period of weeks. You know, these herbs infuse so that they can extract all the amazing um, healing benefits from them. Um, so be sure to check out my website. I do body butters. I do hair oils, I do um, herbal facial steam kits, and I just launched February 21st, 2021. So I am new to this as far as um, the business side of it, but I am a licensed esthetician and I am working towards um, my herbalist license. But just know that I put in a lot of work um, when it comes to studying and educating myself 
on all of these benefits of what you see me using and what you see I offer to you on my website. So back to the video, what I'm doing here is I am applying the uh, mixture to my hair. I already washed my hair, so I'm just going in to apply it as a treatment before I do my deep conditioner, okay? So I washed it, and now I'm doing the herbal rinse, and then I will apply my deep conditioner. I'm not detangling my hair here. As you can see, I'm just using my fingers to um, just make sure I work it in well, and then I'm just going to twist it because this is going to make my hair really soft when I allow it to um, sit on my hair. And I cut my hair really short back in April of 2020. And I shared that video here on um, my, my channel. So if you haven't seen the video, I'll link it up top for you if you want to view that. But my hair has grown a lot since I cut it and is very healthy. And all I use on my hair is, is this here, the herbal rinses. And then I use, of course, aloe vera. But I also use my herbal whipped hair butter and my herbal scalp infusions. That is it. That is all. I don't use anything else on my hair. And my hair is really healthy. I've also gotten into the habit of doing scalp massages. Now, what scalp massages do for um, our hair is it promotes blood circulation. All right. So blood circulation promotes healing. So whenever you apply any oil or if you do like any herbal rinses, you should try to massage your scalp for at least five minutes um, and just put a timer on your phone and um, you'll get used to it. It'll go by quickly, but that is very good for your hair. And I am very big on protective styling, low manipulation. So I try to keep my hair styled for at least two weeks at a time, if not more, depending on what I do to my hair. But those things are going to be very helpful because you're putting less tension on your follicles, your hair follicles. Try to do low manipulation styles and those scalp massages. They're going to be very helpful for you. And for my fellas, this is also going to be great for your hair as well as your beard, or you can do both. Um, so I got y'all. And ladies, make sure you take care of your men when it comes to this hair stuff, because they'll be using that good old head and shoulders three in one, where they talking about conditioner, shampoo, and moisturizer. And that is horrible for your hair. Don't get me started on the chemicals, y'all. So the other blends that I do have are going to be for excessive shedding. So I have a blend for that. If you're dealing with, um, you know, shedding, then check that blend out. And then I also have a blend for um, dandruff. You know, if you're dealing with that dry scalp, psoriasis, those conditions, I got you on that as well. The key thing to remember, and please hear me, make sure you're staying away from sulfates and parabens in your conditioners and your shampoos and in your moisturizers. I talk about this on my Instagram. I talk about it on my TikTok. So if you're here from there, then you might have seen it already. But if not, make sure you go to my Instagram page, which is Metanoia Melanin, as saying for TikTok is Metanoia Melanin. But you need to stay away from toxic chemicals. These uh, chemicals cause irritation, they cause dryness, they cause itchy scalp, and synthetic fragrances. Be very careful with synthetic fragrances, okay? So once I get the herbal rinse on my hair, then I go in with the other container that I have for um, me to be able to easily apply it to my scalp. And as you can see, I'm going in and I'll apply and then I'll massage it in. But the key here is to get it on the scalp because we want to promote a healthy environment. So our scalps need to be healthy in order for us to grow healthy, full, thick hair, right? So I go in and I massage it. And I just make sure I get it all up in there. Get to know your ingredients, okay? I'm trying to tell you those synthetic fragrances. I have one of my best friends. She reached out to me and she told me that she was just breaking out on her skin and couldn't figure out why until she stopped using a, um, a perfume that she was um, putting on and she noticed that the reaction and the irritation stopped immediately so if you notice that you're having any reactions or you're if you're suffering from skin conditions like eczema psoriasis derm dermatitis stay away from those synthetic fragrances and parabens and sulfates and all the other stuff I talk about on my Instagram and TikTok. So check out my page for more information. I'm just going to go ahead and put on my plastic cap and my conditioning cap. And the remainder that I have left over, I'm putting it in my good old mason jar. And I'm going to throw this thing right in the freezer so I can use it next week or the next time I want to apply to my hair. 
And then I'm just going in and I'm detangling my hair because my hair got really soft from the herbal rinse. And of course we start from the ends and work our way up, especially if your hair is super thick. Do not start at the middle of your head trying to detangle anything, okay? Um, but yes, yeah, just going into the tangle and then I'm just gonna go ahead and like twist it up until I'm ready to go in and add my deep conditioner. If you haven't already, again, would you please give your girl a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe and join me on this journey. I would love to have you grow with me as I work towards elevation, restoration, and wholeness, okay? And I'm just going in and removing my clips, okay, just so I can give you an overall view. But my hair is very healthy, and I'm so grateful for that. It's full, it's thick, and I don't really deal with any scalp conditions, um, thank God. So this is just what it's looking like. My hair is not stretched, so don't let the shrinkage fool you. But it is very thick, and um, that's all I have for you. So if you enjoy the video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I hope to see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out my website.